Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking about all things that are glowy and sparkly and dewy and fabulous and some that are not so fabulous because this is hot or not. We are covering all of the newly launched highlighters and I have a bunch of them in front of me. I'm not wearing any highlight right now. I wanted to do a few of them on camera. So I am pretty sure by the end of this video, I am gonna look like I have like jumped in a bucket of glitter. Insane. Okay, so I know this is all glow face, glow, all of that, but I did recently purchase something from Touch and Soul that I thought was for the face too. Like I thought this was a bouncy cream highlight that you could really use anywhere. And technically you can, but I wanna point out a few things about this. This is what the palette looks like. It is $42. It actually feels kind of cheap if I am just judging the product as a whole. You don't get a mirror or anything in here and it does kind of feel a little cheap. Ooh, why do I not even have this plastic bit off of there? Obviously, um, <laughs> these are not gonna be like a highlight for the high points of your face. I think when I was looking at this online, I immediately was looking at like these lighter kind of bronzy shades and I was like, oh, that's really neat. It's like a, a cream jelly highlight. I don't know why I didn't even think that these obviously down here are not gonna be for strobing your cheek or anything like that. So what I wanna share with you all is that I have this brown shade right here packed all over my lid, and then I have another glitter that I'm gonna to get to in a moment, packed on the inner portion of my eye. Now this is the most budge-proof combo. It is so incredibly long wearing that I just wanted to share this palette with you guys. Now you could put this guy right here on the face or on the body as a highlighter. I wanna show you that. It's different than what I had imagined though. So I wanna share with you guys, it is more like an actual eyeshadow feeling than it is a jelly powder. The Stila Putty Highlights, which they just brought out a new shade and um, I have them in front of me, those have this very squishy texture and I honestly thought that that's what these would be, but they're not. That being said, you can still use them on the body if you want to, depending on the shade that works for you. But as eyeshadow, these work incredibly well. Let's talk about Stila for a moment because Stila has one of my favorite cream highlights. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This right here is the shade Kitten. This is the Heaven's Hue Highlighter. They have extended the color range of their Heaven's Hue Highlighter. They used to have just three and now they have more colors. This one right here, if you have lighter skin like myself, it does look a little harsh and muddy. I wore this in my Kim K Mario collab video. I'll link that below. That was yesterday's video. And I thought this was really, really pretty just swatched. However, on my face, applying it on the high points, it did look a little bit intense and too dark for me. So if you have deeper skin tones, this is gonna be gorgeous on you. I would definitely give this product a try. This is something that you can layer on top of powder, which is so rare with a liquid or cream highlight, and it does not collect or bunge or move the product. It is just such a solid, solid highlighter, and I really, really love this. I'm gonna be using Kitten more um, cause that's what looks great on my skin tone. But I love during this time of year, even to put it on my legs. Like if I feel like being extra and I wanna highlight my legs, this is what I'm gonna grab. If I feel like being extra, extra, over the top extra, ridiculous extra, this is what I will be reaching for. These are so, so beautiful. If you watched my PR unboxing, I had a moment where I, I really, I feel like I removed from my body. <gasps> Two shades here, we have five shades. This is new from Stila. This is a magnificent metal highlight for the face and body. Now you can see the size difference between what they sell for your eyelids versus what is designed for the body. Now this has a watery texture, so it dries down and you really see not color on your body, but you see that glimmer and shimmer. I think these are stunning. I am going to swatch up one of my shoulders for you guys so you can just really enjoy the fabulousness of this. Do you see that? Yes. I feel like this is a little bit more of a controlled version of what Cover FX came out with. The glitter drops, I forget the name of them, forgive me. They are very, very intense in glitter and this is a little more diluted. I do really love the shade Painted Lady. I prefer it over Monarch. Again, there are five shades, they are 30 bucks. I think they are very, very cool. This is Monarch, look at that. Oh. My gosh, glitter dreams come true. 
Okay, so moving on, I have some that are not elegant that I'm going to say uh, pass. I don't think they're worth it. Now, I first tested these out when I mixed all of my cream and liquid highlighters together. That's another video I will link below. That one, I mixed everything together and I tried out the Show Glow Iridescent Jelly and Cosmic Blur Iridescent Jelly, and I actually mixed these together with my concoction. Um, looked nothing like this at the end when everything was all blended together. But as you can see, I've used this several times and it just reforms into this kind of like putty jelly thing. It's very, very, very glittery. Like, look at that, right? It is beautiful, but I don't know, there's something like just too much about it that I feel more comfortable with the Stila version over this. If you wanna try it out for $12 and you don't mind the texture of this, then go for it. But to me, the way the Stila version dries down, it's more watery and it doesn't have that sticky gel feeling. Like this one, just immediately in the area where I put it on, it has that kind of just stick to it. Of course, this is $12, the Stila is 30, so you are saving money with this, and essentially they do give a very similar effect. I just found that I did not like the texture of this. This one is prettier than this one. This one kind of does nothing. This just, ugh. oh, ugh. do you see? This is just like straight iridescent gel. That one is a hard pass. I don't have any highlighter on my face whatsoever, so I think we do need to fix that. I'm gonna go into this NARS palette. This is the Revisale. What? I don't know how to say that. I'm not French, forgive me. We're gonna go right into this center right here. I really, really, really love this. It gives the most natural highlight where it does not emphasize your pores. You can build it up to be more blinding, but you certainly don't have to. You can just do a few swipes and it's gonna be very, very natural. So on camera, it's not picking up as much, but in real life, like out in the sunlight, out in real life situations in fluorescent lighting, in you know face-to-face -face conversations, sometimes the more blinding highlights can look a little harsh and can exaggerate texture and your pores. And you know, during the day, you might not wanna go that route. This just gives you such a sophisticated glow without adding any emphasis to texture. So you get three shades in here. They do have a different version of this setup. And the reason that I like this one is because it reminds me of their dual intensity face products where you get two pans. I think they were designed to be blush and highlighter. I have a couple of them. And the cool thing is you can definitely use this wet and it totally transforms and it, it stays looking just so gorgeous on the skin. We're gonna go into that same color and I will show you. Look, dang, dang, dang. Oh my God, right? Ooh, that is a good highlighter. I'm gonna be really detailed and do my James Charles trick. Shout out to James Charles. I'm gonna grab on a pencil brush and just go Right here, sometimes it is the little details that make the big difference. It just makes your skin look so delicious and fresh and hydrated and it just does something right. I am so, so hooked on this. I love it, love it, love it. Now let's chat really quickly about something that I'm not the biggest fan of and I don't feel like it has the same texture at all. NARS brought out these individual highlighters. This is in the shade Capri. I also have a few other of the shades. It feels creamy to the touch. It swatches really nicely, but once you put it on the skin, it just doesn't do the magic that this formula right here does in my opinion. This one right here is $38. It comes in six shades. Some of these shades have already existed with NARS, I believe. They have Albatross, which has existed previously, but I feel like the texture in the formula is much more creamy and different than their traditional blush formula. I just am not anywhere near as in love with this 
as I am with this. I will give another shout out to NARS though. So we had like one that we're in love with, one that I'm like, eh, and another one that I am currently putting to the test. You guys, I finally found this in a Sephora. I am so excited. This is the Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. I am currently testing out a bunch of newly launched eyeshadow palettes and I wanna do a best and worst of newer launches because I feel like there have been a ton of them. So, you know, Tarte's Mermaid, this one right here, I have Pat McGrath. I, I mean, the list goes on. I have Bobbi Brown. So I'm testing them out and I'm gonna be doing a Hot or Not or some type of dedicated, you know, eyeshadow palette video soon. But this one so far has been great. Ugh. This is like 69 bucks. $65, it's somewhere in there. It is a ridiculous price for a pressed blush highlighter. They wanna call it all of these different things, but at the end of the day, it's just like a pinky highlight, but it's not very intense. It smells so good. It smells like violet candies. All of Guerlain stuff does. But I have to say, if you were gonna go with Guerlain, go with their you know, original, just cult favorite product. This one right here, oh no, come back. We're gonna pretend that, that didn't happen. So this one right here, ooh, so good. You can just dust this on the face and it gives you a creamy, beautiful finish to your skin everywhere. If you want more of a hydrated look, that's what this will do. But I just don't understand this one right here. Like I'll try to put some of it on for you guys and ruin my face in the name of trying makeup. It just does not really do a lot and I find that it kind of emphasizes my pores. That's that, I'm being totally rude because this was sent to me, but I am at the point where I told you guys, there's no, there's no holding back. Update for you guys, the Becca water powder, I'm wearing it again today. Whenever I wear this, I feel like my pores look so minimized. It is the craziest thing. Some people love this, some people hate this, but I wanted to update you guys that I have continued using it and I really, really like it. Just not underneath the eyes. We won't do that again. Something liquid that Makeup Forever recently came out with. So these are the Ultra HD Soft Light Illuminator Liquids. And what I like about this is you could mix it in with your foundation. It doesn't have any glitter in it. It truly is that lit from within, gorgeous glow. It's almost a your skin but better situation. So for someone like me that loves full, full glam, I don't think you're gonna love this as much. I would recommend you know, the NARS that I just showed you that I just love so much. But if you're someone that puts on a tinted moisturizer and you want something to add glow, you want something to strobe with that is not gonna emphasize pores, that doesn't even look like makeup, but it definitely does enough good that it's worth purchasing the product, then I think you will enjoy this. I just think that the finish on it is really stunning. And it is a noisy bottle. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, creamy, gorgeous highlight that makes the skin look so good. That's a lot of highlight that I just covered. I have one last thing that I wanna say, and that is that I am die hard in love with the Omrizi highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm really pissed off at myself that I already lost it. I put it in a makeup bag and I left the makeup bag behind. We've all been there. <sighs> My point is, if I had it to swatch for you guys, I definitely would be swatching it right now. That is a stunning, gorgeous highlighter. It has a similar feel and vibe, you know, dry and wet, you can use it. I feel like she did such a great job catering to many different skin tones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me digging through everything that I am loving that is glittery and glowy. Let me know what your favorite was. Let me know if I missed something. I love hearing from you guys in the comments section. Also, be sure to come back tomorrow because I'm gonna share with you everything that I have recently used up beauty wise and what I will be repurchasing what I won't so that will be tomorrow's video I hope to see you then and I hope you're having a good one thanks for hanging out with me I love you guys Mwah.